Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful beach scene in Revit and how to render it. Now, next time when you have some building or a house that you that you want to put it on a beach, you'll know how to model the surroundings so you can make the renderings look way more realistic. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit, but if I minimize it, here you can see I've got a bunch of families just sitting here that I'm going to be using for this project. So I'm just going to go here into an architectural template and I'll be using just a blank beach without any buildings. So here I have just the template and let's just set the units to meters first. Go OK. And now let's start placing the elements. So first thing we need to do is we need to create this site. This is all about the site, of course. So I'm going to go here to Massing and Site tab. And here I'm going to choose Topo Surface. And as you can see, we've got this warning, which means basically we can't create the, this Topo Surface in level 1. Or actually we can create it, but we won't be able to see it. So we need to go to the Site plan, and now we can create our Topo Surface. So I'm just going to be placing points at elevation 0 over here, just to kind of create the boundary to the east. And then I'm going to create kind of a spline-ish kind of a line like this. And that's also at elevation 0. So now I'm going to switch to minus 1 meter. And let's place some at minus 1 meter here. So let's kind of go like that. Finishing up here. Now I'm going to go with minus 3 meters here, and then I'm going to finish it off with minus 5 over on this side. And then I'm just going to move this one out a bit, and this one as well. You want to kind of have the curvature so the actual points are always sticking out at the end. You don't want to have a situation like this, because then this edge kind of skips this height. So kind of have it like that. Okay, so once this is finished or modeled, you just go finish. And now we have just this here spline, but I'm just going to open this up and you can see we have our contour lines that display at certain heights. So I'm just going to change this from 5 meters to 0.5 meters. And now we have a bunch more and it looks a bit nicer, I guess. Okay, so now we need to kind of split the surface up because we don't want everything to be grass. We want some part to be sand, some part to be grass. And I want to create kind of a little road over here or, or track or whatever. So I'm just going to go here to split surface, select this surface, and then I'm just going to choose a spline. So here's where our descent kind of starts going. So I'm going to have my spline that's kind of the boundary between grass and the sand kind of a bit pulled in so I'm going to be placing it like this and then just go finish so this is cut off now I can go again to split surface select this thing and again choose spline I accidentally started with a regular line so kinda choose spline and go like that finish it off and then again go split surface you have to do this each time for every kinda line you split it and again, I messed up, you need to use the spline. So you kind of just start placing points like this and create your little track. Okay, so now I'm going to select this track and I'm going to hold the control and select this thing. So I've selected these two surfaces and go here to material, select it and let's find sand. And here we have sand, just go OK. And it's loaded in. Now I'm going to select these two surfaces. Again, hold the control to select multiple. Go here to material. And let's find grass. Now, as usual, I don't like to use this grass material. I prefer this plant material because it's a bit brighter. So go apply. OK. And now if I go into 3D, you get something that looks like this. And if we turn on the realistic, you get something that looks like this. OK, this looks quite cool for now. Now this wouldn't really be a beach without any palm trees so I'm going to load some in so I'm just going to go here to insert load family go to go to desktop and here we have 3d palm tree open it up go to level 1 
or even better the site plan and then just go massing in site site component and let's place a bunch of these over here so I'm just going to place them like that okay finish off then go insert load family let's see what else I have here on desktop we have this little light yeah let's place the, these lights all around the road and as usual these families will be provided in the description of this video so we can download them so go here to component selected this is what we loaded in and then I'm just going to place a bunch of these so they can kinda light up this track I have here or a walkway or I don't know how would you call this and then just place a bunch on the other side okay there you go okay so the next thing I'm going to be placing a fire pit over here so perhaps for a nice night on the beach so I'm going to go here to insert load family again desktop where I have it all saved up and here I have a fire pit and then I'm just going to go again to architecture component and place it over here and let's just add some seating so I can go here and go load family and then I can go to desktop and let's load this umbrella as well as this deck chair so open it up okay let's place a couple of these umbrellas over here and let's go into wireframe so I can kinda see through them and then go with these chairs so here we have chair okay and let's start placing them so place one here one here perhaps like that and place a couple on this side okay so once this is completed we can now create a camera view or let's just go into 3d to see what it actually looks like and there you go it looks kinda nice looks cool okay so what's missing the water of course so we need to add some water to this scene to make it all look nicer and I kind of forgot I placed this on the grass but I don't have really any reason to do so so I'm just going to bring it here to have it on the sand it looks a lot nicer okay so let's just add some water and for the water I'm just going to go here to site plan and here we have this line this is where the actual descent starts so from this line onward we want to have our water but of course not on the line we want it to have kind of a bit down so to create the water I'm just going to model it as a component in place and I'm just going to go here model in place just choose generic model go OK OK and then go to create extrusion and use this rectangle tool so just place it like so just make sure to go all the way to the edge and once you're there you can you can even go over the edge it doesn't matter in, in the end so you just go finish and then you need to go to south elevation and you have something that looks like this so you extend this all the way down and you extend this kinda a little bit underneath this so you kinda place it like that you go finish model or just a second you need to go edit in, in place select it and change the water or change the material to water add here the water material go apply ok go finish mod model and then if we go into 3D this is how it looks like okay this looks quite realistic so let's go just in level 1 to place a camera so let's place a camera like this kind of viewing in this direction maybe select this to capture a bit more water kinda of have it like that okay this would look quite nice and then you just hit double R for render and let's just go with the medium and let's try rendering okay so this is what we get it looks it's a beautiful tropical beach scene but I thought I might do one more thing so let's try to create a sunset scene so to do that I'm going to go here for lighting and I'm going to change the this the, this scheme to uh, exterior artificial sun and artificial and then I'm going to change the time to still or the sun settings to still and the time to uh, 545 I found out this works for some reason go disable okay so this timing actually works best for this just regular Boston type time and you get something that looks like this it's kinda dark but you can kinda see everything 
So let it just finish rendering. And now you can go here to adjust exposure and perhaps make it a bit brighter. Okay, not that bright. Apply, but you can create something that looks like this. It's kind of dark. It's kind of dark and cozy. And you can see these lights here in the distance. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.